الشباب The biggest social network in the world is being sued. For nearly a decade, Facebook has used its dominance and monopoly power to crush smaller rivals. The Federal Trade Commission and 48 attorneys general across the country and territories recently announced antitrust lawsuits against Facebook. They've reduced choices for consumers. They stifled innovation. And they degraded privacy protections for millions of Americans. The AG's lawsuit accuses Facebook of employing a buy or bury policy. It either bought competitive threats or it buried them, uh, weaponizing you know, its access to data and using other anti-competitive tactics to kick out others out of the competition. Examples are the purchase of WhatsApp and Instagram by Facebook, which decreased competition, say the plaintiffs. They argue the properties should be spun off. In a statement, Facebook officials called the lawsuit's revisionist history, pointing out that the FTC and European Commission had originally approved both acquisitions. Antitrust typically is premised on a reduction of welfare through a reduction of output, increased prices, lower quality. I think those are all going to be very difficult to, to show that Instagram is worse off because Facebook bought it. They all seem to have sort of jump-started their innovation and their popularity. Still, some Facebook critics say scrutiny of the social networking giant is long overdue, considering its powerful gatekeeper role in overseeing vast amounts of consumer data. Folks are not happy that their data is being uh, so exploited on Facebook. They're not happy that there's so much misinformation. If consumers really had a competitive alternative to go to, um, Facebook would feel pressure to do better. Charlotte Slayman works for public interest group, Public Knowledge which is pushing for the creation of a digital regulatory agency. These companies occupy such an important role in our economy, and yet there is no regulator that is tasked with overseeing them. So it's been left to Congress to do this oversight. It's been left to antitrust enforcement, and that's insufficient. A successful prosecution of Facebook would inevitably affect users worldwide, says Bill Kovacic, a former FTC commissioner now at George Washington University. It will give them a greater array of choices, and it will stimulate a degree of competition and rivalry that brings forward, in ways that may surprise us, innovations that are not presently available. For the 2.7 billion Facebook users around the world, it could mean having more of a say in how they stay connected. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.